everyone! So today we're going to be discussing how to make moi moi. Yeah, moi moi is a beans pudding. It's a very popular dish in Nigeria. Stay tuned! Drill, please like, share, subscribe, and click the notification bell. Thank you. So, um, we're going to be cooking the fish method. Subsequently, on this channel, I'll be cooking the beef method, and you'll see how we use um, bone marrow to make it. It's really nice. However, today we're going to be talking about the fish method. And here we have the black eye beans. That's how it looks when it's raw. We peel it and it's dry. You can buy the already peeled one. It's the, the husks one soak it for a while one hour plus but don't soak it for so long and that's our purple pepper the habanero pepper the long sweet chili pepper we also have our crayfish dry crayfish if you don't have that you can use a sardine but i use the both we have our seasoning cubes and then some salt to taste we have vegetable oil or sunflower oil whichever one and then any fall of your choice to wrap it you can use um plastic papers and we have carrot just for the sides now some people add garlic and ginger to their moi 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 is anything you want to do with your moi moi you can basically do it but just watch this it was really nice when i finished making it and there is not mega so so after soaking the beans what you want to do is to wash it thoroughly by washing it you have to keep the cans in the water so keep the cans in the water severally Keep decanting it until there is no more husk in it so if you want to conserve water you can basically put a pan underneath the the colander or the sieve so wash the beans run it over water so this is the almost final product you then wash it out i've taken off all the husk from it as so Decant the water. Now, okay, there I had to transfer it to a bigger bowl to make it easier. I always open my pepper to make sure there is no, like, that it's not spoiled. Because sometimes they look fresh outside, but you have to open them to make sure they're still good. And then these peppers, the long ones, they give the moi moi the color, you know, and the sweet taste the very peculiar taste of boy moi when you see moi moi it's always red and it's thanks to this pepper the more you put basically the better you know so i'm slicing the onions to make it easier when i'm blending it in the blender slice the onions purple onions are better yeah i've never tried the white onions but who knows it might be nice but purple onions are traditionally used. I'm washing the rest of the peppers. I think it's advisable to wear gloves. If the pepper, for instance, if it's habanero pepper, but these peppers that I use are the seedless ones. You can, if, I mean, if you buy the ones that have seed, you have to open them and make sure you take away the seeds because the seeds can be bitter. Or if it's the other type of the pepper, the larger ones, they can be very spicy and you don't want that. So what you're looking for here is just the color and the aroma. Now you blend them just by putting very little water. Okay. Add more water if you feel it's not blending nicely. If it's akara you're making, it's another type of dish that I'll be showing us on this channel. If it's akara you're making, you don't want to put too much water, but with moi moi, you're free to put as much water as it's okay <laughs> to cook it okay so i'm adding water and i'm blending it you just let it blend really well okay let it blend really well and then look at it you can just open up the blender and have a feel of the puree and make sure it's not coarse you know when you touch it it's not gritty when it's very well
open it up and check if it's pureed up or it's still coarse so that's what it should look like that consistency is what you want you don't want it very runny and for akara which is another meal it should be even thicker than this so you continue to blend the rest of your beans add your stock cubes I just added three cubes to about three cups of beans and then I'm adding my sardine basically I think I didn't have much crayfish so I used sardine totally up to you you can use that or you can use a lot of crayfish some people don't like crayfish you can also make it like that especially if you're using meat broth you don't really need this all of that fish I'm adding my crayfish and I'll continue to blend So there you have the rest of the the beans and the mixture what we'll be doing now is to add the rest of the ingredients so i'm just going to put okay i'm giving it a bit of a stir i turn it you see that color the beautiful red color you know this is how i love to eat my mom my oh my god i add um, salt so just a spoon and a half of teaspoon salt and then I'm adding a teaspoon of nutmeg you give it a stir just turn it really well okay and then we'll soon be adding our oil you can add more oil if you like it's your moi moi yes it's your moi moi whatever you like but basically more moi moi now i'm going to be adding some eggs i forgot to mention that in the beginning but what the egg does is to bind it together to make the moi moi you know it holds it together and then it adds to the taste as well yeah now i haven't put hard boiled eggs into the moi moi some people don't like it as a side and some people don't like their moi moi to have extra lumps like extra fish and stuff they just want to eat it like that now I'm adding eggs just two eggs for all of that beans stir and make sure it's well combined Now it's time to distribute the beans puree, you know, to start serving them into the foil that will be steaming them in. I don't have a steamer, so I'm just going to be boiling it directly into the pot the way it's traditionally made. So distribute them into the foil like so. Whatever you have, you can use to make it. You can use your Foil, you can use the local banana leaves you can use um, your plastic bags you can use your tin cups anything you have you can also bake your moi moi I've done that before yeah but I'm just going to be sticking to this one today so I'm just using these foils these takeaway foils to wrap them so this method I'm showing us is um, just how to use the plastic bag Tilt it to one side, get your rope and tie it like so. Bring it out through the hole and yep, snap. Yeah, so this bag, the bag that I got these ropes from was really old, so they're kind of weak and they were snapping easily. Mm -hmm. I love moi moi. I, I honestly love beans. Anything that I can make with beans, I love it. 
So I'm just going to be showing us how to use, I mean, how to use the plastic bags. Tie it like so. Give it another tie to make sure it's secure. You don't want it to spill into the pot. Now we have it. The next thing we'll be doing is into a steaming pot of water. Okay. We level the moi moi into the pot and then I'm just boiling the carrot with little salt as a side. And I'll cover the pot. We'll let the moi moi steam for about 45 minutes to one hour. You, so here you feel the moimo is still soft okay it's not yet done cover it back and let it steam and after one hour or for five minutes here is your moimo and it's amazing so that's just vegetable to eat it with it's very healthy now beans has a lot of protein it also has a lot of carbohydrate actually more carbohydrate than protein enjoy your moimo it is absolutely amazing absolutely amazing and it's very healthy try it and let me know what you think enjoy oh my god look at that <laughs> amazing it was it was absolutely beautiful thank you so much please like share subscribe and click the notification bell to see more lovely videos